Hey, it's The Average Dan, and we are heading out for a Labor Day weekend camping trip. And I was in the process of lowering the camper on to the vehicle when the crank uh, started spinning freely and it was no longer lowering the camper. So uh, I'm gonna show you uh, what I think I can do to fix it. So if you ever run into this problem, this might be a, uh, a quick fix to at least get you on your trip and back. And then uh, it may or may not be a time, uh, time for a, uh, a new jack. And uh, I'm pretty positive the next one is going to be automatic. All right, so the first thing I did, this was on here like so, and there was this kept it in place. I popped this off with a pair of needle nose pliers, and then I took the casing off, some things growing in there, and then there's basically what we're dealing with. You got a gear on the bottom, which is going to obviously uh, rotate and bring this thing up or down, and then you have your crank. And as you can see, the handle is no longer spinning with this, this gear. I then noticed that there were holes in the gear which of course made me wonder if there was some kind of a shear pin or maybe something that wasn't supposed to be a shear pin that uh, did in fact shear. So then what I did is I got a close up look at one of these holes and started to rotate this to see if there was a hole in this that I can put something through. So for now I'm gonna try to find a pin or a nail to put in there, get it uh, moving again with this um, handle and see if I can get us on our way to our Labor Day weekend camping trip. All right, so basically I rotated the handle until I saw the holes line up with one of the openings on the gear. And I just drove an oversized uh, finishing nail into there. We will see if we can get this to rotate enough to get it down on the camper and then uh, we'll figure out a way to get it back. But uh, that's what I'm about to try. We'll see if it works. All right, so that obviously worked. We got the camper down on the jack. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring a couple more of those nails with me uh, this weekend, just in case this one shears. Uh, basically what you would do is just take another nail and drive the sheared part out of the hole and start over again with another one. Obviously this isn't a permanent fix, but uh, I can promise you this will be the last camping trip we take with this old, uh, uh, tongue jack so we'll re be replacing this with an automatic one and I can show you guys the video of that when we get it but uh, this this will get us through this camping trip and uh, a little hack if you ever run into this situation especially if you're out in the woods or at a campsite uh, how to get in here and make it functional to get on your way I hope you found this video useful. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment below so I know you stopped by and it helped you out. If you would like to continue to receive alerts about videos that could help you make yourself useful, make sure you click that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. That's all the time we have for now. Until next time, this is The Average Dan. Thanks.